and now putting a number to a public service. A new study from Cleveland State University quantifies the value that Greater Cleveland RTA provides to Cuyahoga County. And that number is in the hundreds of millions. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg digging into this study for us. He's live downtown with the results. Well, the economic impact is quite substantial to the tune of more than $300 million annually, but there's a whole lot more to it than that. It also affects things like employment. It affects things like opportunity to get a job. It also affects getting people out of poverty. Beyond a set of double doors, it moves people and product. Public transit is like the body's capillary system. That's very important. Without it, the body withers. That is how I get to work every day and take it to other events as well. So it's definitely something I rely on. It's absolutely substantial. Dr. Irene Lendl and her colleague Obed Pasha. Transit brings uh, accessibility and mobility to people. Authored an economic impact study that examined RTA's impact on so Cuyahoga County. The study found RTA's annual impact on the county is $322 million. It also found that areas that were previously unserved by public transit saw property values and employment rise within a decade of getting access to public transit. Those same areas also saw poverty rates drop by almost 13%. It's impossible to conceptualize any vital city with tomorrow's citizens without public transit. Especially important for people who are vulnerable, marginalized, uh, low-income individuals. The study comes as advocates call for more public transit funding. Ohio ranks in the top 15 in transit ridership, but ranks in the bottom five in terms of funding. RTA doesn't just exist of a CEO, GM. Um, it doesn't just exist of a board. It exists of thousands of people who are uh, getting to work every day. The double doors move people from place to place. And without it, the study suggests the city and its economy would wither. Yeah, I'd definitely be stuck. <laughs> Governor Mike DeWine's two-year transportation budget includes about $40 million in federal funding for public transit systems across the state, which is actually $7 million more than the previous budget. However, proponents of public transit say that $7 million additional money isn't nearly enough. Reporting live downtown, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.